In the race to produce the next generation of advanced batteries for electric vehicles, automakers are hopping on the train and are producing a commercially viable solid state battery that would be more stable and faster to charge than any lithium ion batteries used today by car makers in the industry. With electric vehicles established as a key part of the global effort to reach net zero carbon emissions, a lot of other automakers are raising their bets on advanced battery technology. Carmaker's pursuit of low-cost and high-performance batteries had become a core competency for their business progressing, just as engines and transmissions have been in the past. Stay tuned to find out what these solid-state batteries are all about and how successful some of the two biggest automakers have been to make solid-state batteries a reality. What are solid-state batteries? Solid-state batteries are a type of lithium-ion battery, but differ in a key respect. Instead of flammable liquid, they contain thin layers of solid electrolytes through which ions travel. The electrolytes also work as the battery separator, a key component in a lithium ion battery, cutting the fire risk and the amount of raw material needed. Because solid state batteries have a greater energy density, they pack more of a punch for the same weight, allowing car makers to extend the range of an EV or deliver smaller and cheaper batteries for the same range. They can also recharge faster as there's no need to consider the risk of heat generation from charging at high power. The quest for solid state batteries has been heating up as of late as it's more stable and faster to charge than lithium ion batteries used today by innovative car makers ranging from Tesla of the USA to China's BYD. The competition to develop a solid state battery is gaining more popularity and more advantage in a fast approaching era where many consumers are going to be buying their first electric vehicles, or EVs, part of the transition from an auto industry that runs mostly on gasoline and diesel to one that runs mostly on electricity. One outlier in the quest for solid-state batteries is Tesla, one of the best-known EV producers. Batteries, according to Elon Musk, are the keys to the future. They have powered the tech revolution that has brought smartphones, tablets, and has encouraged the revolution from gasoline-powered vehicles to EVs. CEO Elon Musk has remained silent on solid-state batteries, but suggested that the carmaker is worried about nickel availability for the current generation of lithium-ion batteries. However, with all this going on, it's still surprising that Tesla is not actively developing the technology, and it would certainly fit in well with their master plan. However, lots of their patents are around battery charging and charging infrastructure, which means that they are well aware of the potential of solid-state batteries and may just be waiting for the technology to mature a bit before making a move. The quest for shorting charging times and lower mileage without increasing the cost of battery packs and risk of fire has reached a technical ceiling, and these limitations are key to making the electric car revolution a success. Legacy automakers around the world reach for battery breakthroughs. Japan Inc.'s rival seems to be charging into the race and leading. The world's biggest car producer in 2020, Toyota Motor, has been considered a front-runner to produce a commercially viable, solid-state battery. There are even rumors that the carmaker plans to announce a prototype of a car powered by a solid-state battery by the end of this year and seeking to launch a vehicle in the early 2020s. To help accelerate the development of this technology, the Nikkei reports that the Japanese government is considering spending part of a new 2 trillion yen, or $19.2 billion, decarbonization fund in building a solid-state battery production infrastructure in the country. Industrial firms such as Mitsui Kinzoku, petrol company Idemitsu Kosan, and Sumitomo Chemical are all gearing up to make solid electrolytes. Toyota has pursued a next-generation battery for more than a decade now, making it the largest number of patent applications for solid-state batteries from 2014 to 2018, according to a report by the European Patent Office and the International Energy Agency. Toyota leads the solid-state battery patent count, owning over 1,000 patents related to the technology. Toyota pledged at an earnings conference on May 12th to sell 8 million electrified vehicles in 2030, with full-cell vehicles and EVs accounting for a quarter of that estimate. In April 2020, Toyota established Prime Plant Energy and Solution, a joint venture with Panasonic to develop vehicle batteries with a focus on solid-state batteries. The Fraunhofer scientist named Neef equally mentioned that a company like Toyota would have some advantages since they have been doing the R&D in-house for quite some time and might also already have an idea about how their supply chain might look, further stating that Toyota's research and efforts appear, quote, promising. However, 
Toyota says that it still faces some challenges and that the technical hurdles are still high. Masahiko Maeda, Toyota's chief technology officer, told reporters at the earnings conference on May 12th that the company was now developing materials that can meet safety and durability requirements. One difficulty in building solid state batteries is securing sufficient contact between solid electrolytes and positive and negative electrodes, something that can be easily done in conventional liquid batteries where the electrolytic solution fills the gap between electrodes. Some engineers think that handcrafting is still the efficient way to apply adequate pressure to the material in order to ensure that they stick closely together. The big problem with solid state remains to be manufacturing ability. No one has been able to scale up production to automotive requirements, and some of the engineers have also expressed concerns on how quickly solid state batteries and technology can develop. The two biggest drawbacks of electric cars are limited to range and slow charging, and they'll likely persist until battery makers can come up with a viable solution to fix the dendrite problem. It's estimated that a solid-state car could have a range of 1,000 kilometers and would take just 10 minutes to charge. Solid-state batteries deteriorate less over time, and Toyota aims to retain 90% of the battery's performance over a 30-year lifespan. Solid-state batteries are safer than traditional liquid electrolyte batteries due to the lack of flammable electrolytes. Because the electrolyte is solid, there's no risk for ignition that can lead to a thermal runaway. The solid materials don't evaporate as they charge and discharge, so there's no risk of exothermic reaction during charging. Thermal runaway usually occurs when the battery overheats, usually due to overcharging or damages caused during charging or operation. They can be charged and discharged many times more than the lithium ion battery without strain, and this makes them ideal for longer range electric vehicles, which make up the majority of the market. Currently, a loss of capacity after 1000 cycles is typical for a lithium ion battery, whereas solid state batteries retain 90% of their original capacity after 5000 cycles. Long range EVs need large, heavy battery packs to achieve their range. With lighter, cheaper, and more powerful solid state batteries on board, the weight savings are substantial. The size can also be reduced by two thirds with these new cells compared to lithium ion batteries at a comparable price point. These factors combined could mean that solid state batteries will offer an unrivaled user experience for long range electric vehicles. Solid state batteries could be the ideal technology to help deliver a long range electric vehicle that is durable, affordable, realistic, and truly enjoyable for all customers. However, it still has some ways to go before it could be approved and implemented on a large scale. Cost would have to be reduced, and the technology needs to be tested in real-world conditions. With so much money, time, and energy being invested into this new technology, there is a high probability that it would become a reality within the next few years. It's only a matter of time before more research takes place and solid-state batteries' prices fall further as production increases. What do you think? Would solid-state batteries become a success? How long do you estimate until the new technology becomes a reality? Let us know what you think by leaving a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.